the ability for us to be able to stay open is is tremendous. I think it takes a lot of the fear away from myself and the staff to know that there is going to be a future, to know that, you know, we're going to be able to, to like I said, provide for our family and, and move forward. You know, being able to stay, to stay open and be at 100 percent, even if we've chosen 50 percent, it just means the world to all of us. And it means, I mean, I've got friends all over the country and I've got friends in New York City and I don't know how they're going to survive this, not being open to restaurateurs, the servers, the cooks. There's a lot of people that are not just, they're not going to make it through and, and they're panicking at the holidays. They've got mornings, they've got, it, it's just it's terrible for some people. And I don't know, maybe Brooke probably can tell you better how it's meant to her to be able to come back to work and earn a living. Um, because Governor DeSantis wants to remain open throughout all this, I'm able to put food on the table, I'm able to get my bills paid, and my kids are going to have an amazing Christmas. Oceans 234 is responsible for more than 80 team members and their families. So when we were able to reopen and welcome them back in, uh, we knew that that meant so much to them and of course so much to us to be able to say that they could come back and you know make their livelihood. We have a humbling responsibility to be able to provide gainful employment to our employees so they have financial stability and mental health. And we should never take that responsibility lightly. So we very much appreciate what Governor DeSantis has allowed us to do. It's been a, um, a process where we've been able to kind of keep people going and they're, they're you know, everybody's very happy that we've been able to survive and, and be able to maintain our business and keep our staff uh, employed and being able to kind of live. So it's been a tough time, but we've been able to, to march through it and, uh, and hopefully continue forward. There aren't any words to express our gratitude for what, the, what Governor DeSantis has done for us. We, he act to me and Cindy, actions speak louder, louder, actions speak louder than words. And Governor DeSantis has truly done that. He stepped up and as the military said, he, as the military puts it, he's had our 180, which means he has our back. We have his back as well. We will do anything in our power to show him that we have almost, with our team members and our management and staff, we have almost 200 years of experience. We know how to do it. We can do it well. We know what it takes to get it done. And we're going to make sure that we are a good example for Governor DeSantis, for Governor DeSantis and the state of Florida. So we can show the rest of the nation how it can be done without shutting the state down. He's a phenomenal leader and we really greatly appreciate it. And we're thankful that he has faith in the people of Florida to do what is right. He counts on us to, to make good judgment calls and we appreciate that he has that kind of faith in us. Governor DeSantis, I just want to say thank you so much for allowing us the ability to stay open trusting that the community and the citizens here in Florida are going to do the right thing and be responsible and do what we need to do to stay safe and sanitize and go the extra measures, whether it's through ongoing teaching and knowledge or whether it's extra work that we have to do to make sure that we keep ourselves safe, that we keep the community safe. Hats off uh, to our governor, even my uh, executive associates in the industry are very impressed with the way that the uh, Governor DeSantis has handled the Florida uh, situation where he's really done that kind of a balancing act of keeping COVID in control where our hospitals aren't getting overwhelmed. At the same time, really protecting, you know, these are our, our lives, these are our businesses, our families are depending on these restaurants. And the fact that we've been able to maintain and actually, you know, do pretty well through this is, is really a testament to the leadership and certainly Governor DeSantis. When I heard you know, the governor make such strong stance on making sure that we stay open. To me, that represented hope and that represented that we would get through this and that if we all did the right thing, if we all banded together, if we all followed the regulation, that, you know, we're going to get through this. We're going to be able to keep the economy open. Our employees are going to have jobs. And, you know, there is a light at the end of the tunnel.